dude, yeah. too. Oh, that looks so fun. I'm going to yeah. wait, though, maybe until the rain comes back to it's go check it out. It's just yeah. too nice to get it's inside. Nice really is. Yeah. Nothing against the place. I would love right. to go there. But, oh, wow, it's so nice out. Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't get enough of it. I went over to uh, Forest Park to kind of stay away from the sun for a little bit. Yeah. A little bit cooler there. But uh, it was just wonderful. Yeah, it was changing really a little bit tomorrow. It's going to change just a little bit. We're going to bring more clouds in. We're kind of shifting the wind. That's going to cool us down a little bit. And I think we're going to stay away from the rain. So let's just kind of start off with our day today. It was gorgeous as we look at our time lapse from this evening. Just nice shot. Actually, the sunset's my favorite because we had those low stratus clouds and it just brought in a beautiful reflection of some light. And it was just a wonderful, wonderful day today. It's been like that for the past couple of days. We broke another record. Uh, a lot of areas around here broke records today. When we were back up into the lower 80s, we topped off at 83 degrees. It's 59 now, so it is cooling down just a little bit. A west breeze, 7 miles per hour, feels like 59. Not really worrying about anything there. And our current temperature is just about coast to the lower 50s. Still warm off to the east, though. Where they'll have another day where it's going to be pretty warm. But right now we are in the upper 50s. Hopefully we can get a nice breeze in the windows if you do have them cracked open to kind of cool things down. 49 will be our low tonight. Vancouver 45, 48 in Astoria, Newport right around 47, 54 for the Dallas. And again, it's going to be a little bit warm. Pelton at 50, cooling down to about 39 degrees tonight in Baker City. Here's what we have going on. We have this low pressure that's actually off to the south, which is going to kind of bring in some cloud coverage and maybe some rain showers and a little instability there for south central Oregon. There is like Klamath Falls probably. But then once we get to the northwest section, it's a little bit more clear. So we will have an onshore flow that will bring in some more cloud coverage by the time we get into tomorrow. For now, though, it's going to be the southern part of the state. The section of the state's going to see more uh, areas where they can see some rain. So here you can tell a little bit of cloud coverage coming off the coast. Uh, it is pushing off to the east. The areas of the valley will see some cloud coverage as we go into tomorrow. So this is what we're tracking with our headlines. Those record temperatures are probably going to be on the out by the time we start our day for our Saturday. We'll be cooling down about 10 degrees into the 70s though. So still warm, still above our average or normal, which is at 60. And then a marine layer is going to start to bring in some cloud coverage, especially for areas of the coast and maybe in a, a little bit of fog. So we have the onshore flow. It's going to cool things down. It's going to bring in some cloud coverage, maybe a sprinkle or a drizzle along the coast for the morning and some patchy fog, but that's about it. The rest of us should see some more sunshine as we go into tomorrow. Temperatures in the 50s, uh, 60s, and then warming up into the 70s by the time we get into tomorrow afternoon, bringing in some more sunshine. Uh, here's Here's tonight, so watch. We do have the cloud coverage along the coast. It clears up a little bit. By tomorrow morning, maybe, again, a sprinkle down along the coast. Areas like Tillamook down towards Newport, uh, Lincoln City up towards Astoria. Everywhere else should be okay, too. Maybe some sprinkles through the Cascades, but that's about it. We clear up by the evening hours. That's where temperatures will really start to flourish. We'll bring in some more cloud coverage as we get to Sunday morning. So we're just going to continue to expect a little bit of cloud coverage for the weekend, but it should be... All in all, pretty decent to get out there and just kind of enjoy uh, some more outdoor weather as they're going into the weekend. So here's the seven-day forecast. 69 for our Saturday, Sunday at 67, Monday at 67. And it's not going to be too bad. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday is where the rain is really going to return. So that's a good time to get over there to maybe that arcade. But until then, you know, go for a hike Saturday and Sunday. We should see, again, just a little bit more cloud coverage, but that's about it. I think we'll be fine. Temperatures in the 60s. So, so long to the record-breaking temperatures. Yeah, but, you know, they're, in the, nice. they're in the high 60s. I mean, what are we complaining Nothing about, really? Complain yeah. about. Some low 70s tomorrow, too, I believe. We'll Thanks, Joseph. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you.